In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to promote affiliate links, whether you're a blogger, YouTuber, or social media influencer. So by the end of this video, if you stay till the end, I'll give you my exact affiliate link strategy and my framework that I use to make over $80,000 a month from affiliate marketing. But before we get started, I wanna invite you to watch my free masterclass on how to start a profitable blogging business even if you're brand new or have tried and failed before. So this is my exact content, link building, and affiliate marketing strategies, how I make over $150,000 a month with my blog. So make sure to click the link below, watch that masterclass, and let's get into the topic for today. First of all, we have to cover what exactly are affiliate links and how do they work? Well, currently I'm in over 300 affiliate programs, so it's been a little bit difficult to manage. And affiliate links are basically unique identified links that a brand gives me to promote a product. So for example, if I you know, recommend email marketing software and I say use active campaign, they'll give me a unique activecampaign.com slash and a bunch of like numbers and letters and things to uniquely identify me as that source of traffic. And affiliate links basically you know, dictate who made the sale so I can get credit for commissions when I send them traffic. So here's an example. If I go to my article on email marketing software and I click on active campaign as my affiliate link, you'll see this load. And at the top here, you can see it says activecampaign.com slash question mark and a bunch of numbers and letters. That's the unique identifier that tells them, hey, this is the traffic source is adamenfroy.com and I'm gonna get credit when anyone makes a purchase through that affiliate link. And you can see, and this is my affiliate dashboard. Really what I did is I logged in, I grabbed the link right here, copied it and pasted it in. Now, that's really simple. Affiliate links are really simple. They're a way to get traffic to your site and send it to other brands. Now each brand creates their own affiliate link, their own IO or insertion order, which gives and dictates the exact rules, what the commission rates are, what the cookie duration is, or how long you get credit for the sale. Someone might click that affiliate link and then purchase 30 days later, you can still get credit. But overall, affiliate links are unique trackable links. You join affiliate programs, put in your information, and then you just basically, once you're approved, grab your link and paste it into your content, whether it's a blog or a YouTube channel. So we'll cover exactly where to place affiliate links, how to optimize them for more clicks and sales. But first we have to take a step back and think about how did the people actually get to click your affiliate link in the first place? And that's where search intent comes into play. What they actually searched for, whether it's on YouTube or on Google, and how they got to your article or video is the most important part of affiliate marketing and getting actual sales. Let me give you an example from my blog real quick. So I rank for business ideas in this post on the 107 best small business ideas. And I have affiliate links in here. And my number one you know, option for business ideas is to start a profitable blog. And I have the steps to start a blog. And I say set up web hosting, sign up with the Bluehost. And that's number one. So if you wanna start a blog, this is my affiliate link to get started with web hosting. Another example is actually this article on the set, uh, 27 best web hosting services. Same thing, I have a link here, what is the best web hosting, goes down the list, and these are all affiliate links. Now, when we think about this, we have to think about the actual intent behind the search and how the person actually got to my affiliate link. If they're searching for business ideas and they got to my article on the 107 best small business ideas, they might've Googled business ideas or small business ideas. So the chances of them actually using an affiliate link in a broad general search like that are a lot lower than if they actually search Google for something like best web hosting. So these best transactional list posts are key to making affiliate revenue because the search intent is there. That person typed the thing that they actually wanted and that affiliate link basically clicks itself at that point. So when I compare these two articles, best web hosting gets a ton of affiliate sales, whereas business ideas does not. These broad posts can still have affiliate links, but I also, you'll see I have ads in this post, I have videos, I have a lot of other things. Think about it. I mean, you have to really take a step back and think about it. Someone searching business ideas, they might wanna start a lawn care company for all I know. They're not gonna sign up for web hosting, but it's the transactional search intent that if someone goes to Google and they search best web hosting, that's the type of post that makes money with affiliate marketing. So to optimize a post like that, basically all that you do is you lay it out in a certain structure. So this is specific for blogs. We have the H2 heading, what is the, and then the target keyword. And then we answer the question, here are my top picks for the best web hosting. And number one, we have an affiliate link. So I add affiliate links into the actual H3 title of the company. I also add it throughout. So the first mention of the company, I'll add it. I may add it you know, another couple times. And then the main thing you wanna do here is add a call to action sentence near the bottom. So it says, follow this link to get 50% off the first six months on all pricing plans. Try, and then the call to action button. So each individual section can have, you know, typically, three to four or five affiliate links. There's no perfect way to do it, but you wanna make sure that it's in the title, the H3 title, 
the first mention of the company and at least in a call to action sentence and a button. Now this could probably be bold, that would be a little bit more, you know, stand out a little bit more and help, but it's, it works. And you'll see that's the same for number two, Bluehost. First mention of Bluehost is an affiliate link. A couple more times there is. Here's how to get started. So this is a good instructional way to, to get affiliate link clicks is to go to bluehost.com and do this. You give them the exact way and then a call to action button. And you repeat this over and over again for all these different companies. So again, we don't wanna have one affiliate link for each company section. We don't wanna have 10. We wanna balance it and probably have three to five because really affiliate marketing uh, money is not made with banner ads and all these things. It's made with text ads and simply replacing, you know, placing a link on the mention of the company is the way that you make the most money with a blog. All right, so we covered blogs and how transactional posts make the most money. Let's go over to YouTube. So I just did the same search on YouTube, best web hosting. And let's go to the first video. So best web hosting for WordPress 2022. It's a video by Travis Marziani here. And let's see how he adds affiliate links. So this is a completely different uh, strategy, but we're going after Google and YouTube because this is where search intent happens. This is where real affiliate money is made. So on YouTube, it's simple. He's covering the best web hosting. He has kind of similar to a blog post. He's got the main, you know, in order. Number one is this, two, three, four, five, the top reasons why it's easy to set up, all these different things in the video. So basically him just talking through and showing the screenshots of them. Then where are the affiliate links? Well, they live in the video description. So down here, he has chapter markers to make it easy. And then you can see all of these affiliate links here for SiteGround, Bluehost, A2 Hosting, WP Engine, and down the list. Now, if I click on one of these, this is his unique trackable affiliate link and it goes to SiteGround.com. So the best way to optimize YouTube is to add them into the description, but notice you have to have a good post that is ranking for something that is transactional. You know, sometimes these might work for other keywords and things like that, but the transactional value and the you know transactional search intent is there. So YouTube's easy, it's creating the video, making it you know, as personalized as possible with unique features in the video itself, the affiliate links will end up clicking themselves. So again, this whether it's a blog or a YouTube channel, the key is not the affiliate link itself. The key is not like, I need to join this program and get clicks. The, the key to make money with affiliate marketing is to get consistent ongoing clicks on your affiliate links. The main ways to do that are Google and YouTube with these transactional type of searches. All right, so we covered Google traffic and YouTube. What about social media? Can we add affiliate links to like Instagram and TikTok? The answer is yes, you can. However, it's a lot harder to make real money with affiliate marketing. It's simply because search intent is not there. People are scrolling through and not necessarily searching for the product that you're promoting on Instagram. So for example, here's a couple examples I'm looking at. So here's affiliate marketing on Instagram. This is Erica Legenza's channel and she's promoting some self-care products. You know, so you have to post constantly new posts over and over again that don't get that evergreen affiliate links. So you're kind of stuck in this content hamster wheel of constantly having to post, constantly worrying about, worrying about your followers and getting them to click these links. Here's another one from Anna Everywhere. So she, you can see she has affiliate links down here um, that you can just paste in where your hashtags are. Um, again, it's, it's kind of a lifestyle play where you're trying to make a little bit of money from your followers by hoping that they follow me for my lifestyle content. Maybe they'll buy you know, whatever this is, chickens or something. Um, <laughs> let's look at another one. So another one here is I'm Jen. Um, this one is, you know, an ad. So this isn't even affiliate marketing. So, you know, it's tougher to make money on Instagram because you're constantly having to, pr to promote yourself and this lifestyle brand and getting followers. And to make real money with affiliate marketing and affiliate links on Instagram, you need like a million followers or more. And sometimes that even is not the case. There's an article here, you know, from Business Insider or uh, Insider and it's very common for you know, big influencers to not actually influence purchase decisions. So if you can't use affiliate links to influence people to buy something, you're not that big of an influencer. Even if you have 2 million followers on Instagram, it doesn't guarantee that you can generate any sales. This one here had 2 million followers and couldn't sell 36 t-shirts. Another thing is TikTok. And TikTok I think is, is, is similar to Instagram in that there's a ton of rules. There's a ton of, you know, you, you can add this stuff into right by the hashtags into the video descriptions but people aren't really buying things as much on TikTok as they are from YouTube recommendations and Google. Plus, you know, you don't own these platforms. You don't own your TikTok account or your Instagram account. So if you're adding affiliate links, you could easily and quickly get banned on TikTok. TikTok's really cutting down on anything that talks about money. Anything that is a website link to get them off of TikTok is not really a good idea and can get your account suspended pretty easily. And you don't own that content. Like, you know, what if happens if TikTok shuts down or suspends your account for 10 years? It's very easy to happen, so it's not a safe way to do it. And again, you're stuck in that content hamster wheel. So the key again with affiliate links is using YouTube or Google and these transactional posts 
that can make you, you know, affiliate link clicks over time. All right, so here are my top five strategies to promote affiliate links and exactly what I would do if I'm just starting out. Number one, you have to start a blog and find these transactional keywords that you can rank for. So for that, I would use a tool like Ahrefs the keyword explorer to do keyword research. And you can put in the word best plus your niche. So for example, if I put in best hiking and I wanna do hiking blog and promote affiliate links on hiking boots and hiking poles and you know all those types of products, you put that in and then you go to the matching terms tool and you find all these different variations. So best hiking boots, shoes, lots of different things related to that. Women's hiking shoes, hiking socks, hiking backpacks. You can even do that with camping, you know, best camping. And find all these matching transactional terms and the keywords that you're gonna start writing for. So try to find like 10 transactional keywords in your niche. Look for low, low difficulty, decent volume, and you know, start writing these down so you can get 10 keywords you're gonna go after. So that would be step one, find transactional keywords in your niche for a blog. After you come up with your 10 keyword ideas, now it's time to actually write your blog post. And these can be in a structured format in the exact same way. So you'd wanna use a tool here like Surfer SEO. So this is an example on an article if you're writing it on the best VPNs. And a tool like Surfer really helps you structure and format your articles. And it gives you all of these semantic keywords that you can write about. Free VPNs, VPN software, online privacy, secure connection. All of these keywords that Google expects to see in the article. So you optimize it with a tool like this in Surfer. And then you're gonna to wanna to format it in the similar way that I do, where it's the title, H2 is what is the best web hosting, what, you know, what is the best target keyword, and then laying it out in, in a one by one format in these companies. So you can use a tool like Jarvis, you can use tools like Surfer SEO, but you wanna you know, create these blog posts in a structured format. The third thing I do is join some affiliate programs after your traffic is ranking a little bit, and then use a tool like Thirsty Affiliates to cloak your affiliate links. So rather than you know, linking out these weird unique identifiers in your affiliate links, you can cloak them and organize them with this WordPress tool called Thirsty Affiliates. So it makes the links look a lot nicer. You can also you know, organize and structure your affiliate links so that if you make one change to the affiliate link, it'll happen site-wide, and it's a great tool to use um, when promoting your affiliate links. Tip number four is to make sure that you actually disclose that you're using affiliate links. So you can see here in my best web hosting article, I have a disclaimer here near the top that says this article contains affiliate links where I may receive a small commission at no cost to you if you decide to purchase a plan. These are the tools I recommend. You can read my full affiliate disclosure in my privacy policy. So this is really important. The FTC dictates that you need to disclose that you're using affiliate links. So not just one time on your website, but in every single post that includes affiliate links. So make sure not to forget to add an affiliate disclaimer to your content. And the fifth and final strategy I would use is to make sure that after you're done writing these affiliate posts on your blog, and I would say go after an 80-20 rule. So 80% affiliate list posts, 20% informational how-to posts. Keep going with that content strategy, focus on content, focus on links, build your blog with some of the other strategies in my other videos, and then when you're ready, that's when you can start a YouTube channel. So after three years of blogging and getting a ton of traffic to my website, over 500,000 monthly readers, I started a YouTube channel, and then you can cross-promote your blog posts, and your YouTube videos. So for example here, I rank number one on Google for affiliate programs, and when I click into this affiliate programs article, I have the 105 best programs, which also includes a lot of affiliate links, and then I have my YouTube video on the best affiliate programs. So when you're doing both Google and YouTube, and you're doing transactional posts and list posts, you can really you know, differentiate yourself by both creating the blog post version of that best of list post, and the YouTube version. And when you create both, then you can start adding the YouTube version into your content, into your blog posts, getting traffic from YouTube, getting traffic from Google, and you're really you know, dominating that niche and getting the most evergreen traffic you possibly can to your affiliate links, because that's the key. The more traffic you can get on an ongoing basis to your affiliate links and get clicks after clicks after clicks, months after months, this is all a numbers game, and you do it with Google and YouTube. If you want to learn more about how to promote affiliate links, you know, how to negotiate higher commission rates, how to join affiliate programs and make the most money possible, you need to watch my free blogging masterclass with the link below. Thousands of people have gone through it and had a lot of aha moments, so make sure to click that link below, watch my free blogging masterclass, it covers my SEO, content, link building, and affiliate marketing strategies, how I make over $150,000 a month with my blog, so make sure to watch it with the link below. And let me know, are you having success with affiliate links? Are you making money with affiliate marketing? Is there any areas you're struggling with? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.